Welcome to my experiences with The Witcher, part 2. I guess this is a series now. <laughs> so, to start off from last part, the combat is better. Well, it's getting better and all. It's getting better as I start to learn it, as I start to dodge, dodge at the right times, roll at the right times, block things, um, all that kind of things. All that kind of thing. Just integrate other things with it as well. So, the more I learn to use it, the better it gets. This is about, well, combat can get better in two ways in most games. It can get, um, get better by you getting better at it, it can get better by you being able to get more for it, which is something that, for instance, Kyrie does really well, where you just learn over time more skills that yeah, you then utilize in combat. Or you can combine the two, which I think the Shadow of Mordor does really well. Because you learn better and better how to fight with the combat system, with the attack and counter system. And you can constantly get more tools to use in the fight. So, yeah, that's Ring. That is... And the Witcher up till this point is just me getting better at it, so... Yeah. But it's really is getting better. I hope it doesn't grow still at some point, but yeah, right now it's great. What also is great about it is how it just makes you feel like a Witcher. And this really gets mastered in the Witcher contracts. What I mean with this is, well, the Witchers are the ultimate monster slayers. But in the previous two games, well... Yeah, you did slay monsters, but it really didn't feel in any way different from just slaying a monster in Skyrim or something. Yet here, it does feel like you're well, different from the rest, like you're the monster slayers. The, a really large part of that is just the preparations you take. I mean, the very first contract you take, that really is a high point for me, as you just you start looking around fields for a plant you need, for a potion you need. You go to the inn to buy a special... Uh, uh, to buy Dwarven Spirit, and you need to make the potion, and you start hunting along the coast, as you need a Drowner Brain. This is really a part where the game abs absolutely sh uh, shines. Where it just makes you feel like you are this huge monster slayer. And also another thing, I love Gwent. Yeah, I haven't I hadn't played it before uh, playing this game, of course. And I did hear a lot about it, but well, it's just a mini game. I mean, how good can it be? Very good. <laughs> yeah, probably everything about it has probably already been said. So, but yeah, I love it. <laughs> I do have some more niggles about it, though. Some slightly more substantial nickels as well. First off, enemies stop attacking you when you get out of their attack radius. Okay, why? Okay, it makes sense for someone not to uh, follow you across the entire land, like they kind of would do in Skyrim. They would just... Yeah, you go from uh, Solitude to Markov, and you don't ever run too far away from them. Yeah, they will follow you, not a problem. And, well, that might be slightly unrealistic, it does also... Well, it doesn't break immersion quite as much as you actively fighting a group of bandits and then, then suddenly turning around and just walking back. That really was something that... Yeah, that wasn't the greatest. Um, and the potion system. Okay, I like the potions, but if I'm honest, I like the potion system of the very first game over this, really. Because, well, to really explain this, we also need to look at two. Two, you had to go meditate, and then you could take some potions. And you could only meditate when you weren't in combat, so the potions were completely... Um, were for 100%... You need to be prepared for a battle if you want to take any potions for it. And, well, this would be good 
if the game didn't also like to jump you with combat. Because then if you want had some form of alchemy build or well just kinda did use potions, you were pretty much fucked. In three well, three turned it completely around. Now it's just you need a potion, poof you take a potion. Okay, very nice and all, but well why would you prepare for it? I mean to have the potion, yeah that's preparation, but well when you actually have it, I mean you don't need to make it every time. You just need to meditate for I don't know, just if at some point just for one minute you meditate and you have your potions back. And in one, well, there was also, in one there was an animation for actually taking the potion. I mean, it was really fast, it was just, uh, you take the potion, and it's gone. But it did take, I don't know, maybe a second or so to take it in. So to be, to come prepared was a, was a bonus, because you wouldn't stand still in battle taking a potion. On the other but it didn't have the problem that 2 had where you couldn't do it in combat because well it's merely one second you just step out of the way and quickly take a potion and bam you're a killing machine so yeah that's kind of a problem i do have with 3 just their potions don't really i mean they also especially swallow is such a useless potion for the most part i mean if you have food, what's the reason to use swallow instead of just the food? I mean, yes, you can just you get it back just using some alcohol and it's probably stronger, but it also increases toxicity and well, it's more powerful while you can get the same job done with just eating some food. Leading to, I might need it at some other point, so I will never use it. So yeah, that's kind of my take on the potion system. It's better. It's way better than the two, but it's all on the spot. While one had both on the spot and preparation. So yeah, and that's kind of something I didn't like as much. Following up to that, you don't. After just a couple hours or so, you don't have to prepare as much for everything. I don't have to prepare for a fight with. Well, for one. Now with the Witcher contracts I know less often what I'm going to face in advance, but even when I do, I don't need to go out of my way to, for instance, make an oil that will work against it, because the oils work indefinitely, you just have to go into your inventory every now and then to apply them, to apply the right one again. And when I, in the beginning I praised how great the it did make me feel like the Witcher having to prepare for fighting these monsters. This kind of gets this kind of rem gets removed when you don't pre to prepare at all because well, you always have what you need. So maybe it will come back at some point, but I am kind of worried about this. I mean, on one side, yeah, it's annoying to have to prepare for everything. On the other hand. It, did, it is how the witches are supposed to be to do it, and well, it did add a lot to, for me at least. And here we get to a point that, well, a completely unrelated point, but a big problem I have with the game. It only allows you to uh, have one quest active at a time. Okay, I'm one of those people who, well, in Skyrim, for instance, I have almost always have all my quests active. And it's not like I do them always completely mix them. I mean, I do have many moments when it's just... Let me just... Thank you for that. But I do have many moments where... The... Where I just completely focus on one quest. I'm doing this quest, I'm going to finish it. But when I'm then done with a quest, I want to look what is closest, so that I don't have to go back maybe a half an hour later to the exact same city where Questgiver was. So right now I'm result. I am just using the custom markers on every quest marker I get. But yeah, why not let me just have every uh, quest active at a time? I mean, it's just kind of silly and just. 
a big pain in the ass for me. Yeah, it's... I mean, there might be a mod for it, I might have to look it up. I mean, I'll have to look up a mod for having more than 20 custom markers, because this way I'm running out of them very fast, but... Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it's it definitely is a real complaint for me. This is not just a worry, this is really a complaint. I mean, it doesn't break the game in any way, shape or form. It's still an amazing game, but... Yeah, this is bad. And this probably should have been in the first part. The game does like a lot of tutorials, doesn't it? I mean... For one, how many bloody tutorials is there? How many bloody text is there? I mean, okay, yeah, it's a very complex game. There is a lot to explain, but... Good god, it's a lot of text. And what also is annoying, that, for instance, when I uh, got the bleeding, uh, when I first got a bleeding state effect, or however it's called, and it wanted to tell me about that, well, the c button to continue was the spacebar, and I tried to avoid getting hit so I wouldn't bleed all the time, so I hit, I tried to jump away, but I got hit beforehand, I got the tutorial of, hey you're bleeding, but I also met, but I was still hitting the spacebar. So, hey you're bleeding, here's some text about it, oh you already skipped it, okay you got it now apparently. Um, why, why is that luck button, uh, why is the skip the tutorial or continue tutorial or whatever linked to the spacebar often and not just E or something, because... Yeah, sure, the spacebar is very useful, very nice to use, but so is E, and you don't expect us to use E in the middle of combat. But as I have stated, I love the game, I absolutely do. This is just some of my experiences, and some of the things that I find are maybe not the best ever. I mean, it is definitely one of the best uh, RPGs ever. I mean, it isn't Skyrim, of course. This is not saying that Skyrim is better, this is saying that Skyrim is very different, and that Skyrim... I like the thing that Skyrim does maybe slightly bit more in general. I like the be whoever you are, have be whoever you want to be and do whatever you want to do. But The Witcher is definitely a game I love, I want to see where it goes. I love it, it's amazing, but... Yeah, that doesn't uh, mean that it doesn't really. That doesn't mean it doesn't reserve, deserve some criticism. Hell, if it wasn't uh, wasn't a great game, or I mean, criticism does mean that. I mean, I take a look at it because I love it. Otherwise, I really wouldn't give a fuck. So yeah, great game. I just have some worries with it, and right now, I don't know, two problems or so. I mean, just the enemy attack radius, that's more fitting towards an online game, like ESO also has it, but that is supposed to allow a ton of people to do it all the time, not a single player game. And the only one quest at a time, I mean, yeah, it probably, I mean, well, I don't know why we would lock it off. I mean, why would you? I mean, for people who do just want one quest at a time, Okay, you can do that when you just when you allow more than one quest at a time to be selected. I mean, just deselect the one you aren't doing. Yet locking it off does hurt, can only hurt the people who do want more than one quest selected at a time. I just don't understand why you would do it. But yeah, that's just me kind of rambling on about The Witcher. I love it, amazing game, absolutely great. Just a couple problems with it. Please don't murder me. This has been Phoenix, saying farewell.